The other day, I had the privilege of working at my second job with the New Mexico Lobos Athletic Department. I am fortunate to assist in catering their suites and VIP sections, serving those who generously support the team. During my time there, I've had the remarkable opportunity to serve meals and meet many esteemed individuals from Albuquerque, learning from them and witnessing their support for the Lobos. It's an incredible experience to see the smiles on people's faces as they interact with the athletes, future stars who might one day grace the fields of the NFL. It reminds me of how people might feel meeting a celebrity or a leader as one would approach with wonder and anticipation. But as I reflect on these moments, I am reminded of a greater meeting we all will have. One day we will stand before the king of the universe, whose glory far surpasses any earthly monarch. Philippians 2, 10 11 says, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. In his presence, we can do no more than bow down in humility, worship and praise. Let us prepare our hearts for that day, knowing that none of us knows the time or hour of his return. As we are told in 2 Peter 3, 9, the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. The time to prepare is now. By committing our lives to Christ, we can live as children of the King, ready to meet him face to face and proclaim, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. Revelation 4:11. Thank you for watching. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you in humility and gratitude. We ask that even now, you help us prepare our lives and our hearts to be living sacrifices, fully devoted to knowing you more deeply during our time on this earth. May our relationship with you grow stronger each day, so that when we arrive in your heavenly kingdom, we will feel as though we have known you all along. Lord, we thank you for the miracles you have performed in our lives, and for bringing us to this very moment where we can seek your presence. As we navigate our daily routines, help us not to become ensnared by the distractions of this world. Remind us that we are merely passing through, and this is not our eternal home. Inspire within us a desire to share the good news of the gospel with others, for you alone are our creator and our purpose. Help us to remember that we were made for another kingdom, where we will dwell in your presence forever. May we strive to draw closer to you with each passing day. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.